welcome to Halong Bay on the two night heritage line Jewel of, oh gosh, Jewel of the Sea, Jewel of, I'll figure it out. There's some really lovely people from all around the world here on the ship. We have some blue sky. It's beautiful. The waters are aquamarine and the landscape is just incredible. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out videos a couple times a week on the best places to eat, drink, play, and stay in Asia. And this week it is Vietnam. experience honestly at the moment we're following one of the other heritage line cruise ships and I think let's see we're heading up to our mooring spot for the evening or where we drop anchor but it's so peaceful there's local fishermen that you can just kind of sit and marvel at which is such a good time I have a cure royale and I'm doing some riding I will be sad to check out tomorrow. It's really, really lovely. I just really like the, the old wood and the feel of the ship as well. Well, I've just finished up at the spa. It was very nice. I had a 45 minute foot massage that had a little bit of reflexology in it. And I walked around Hanoi so much. My legs feel totally refreshed now. And we did, I think, a, like a 10 minute neck back, well, neck, shoulders, and upper back massage as well. Oh, it's perfection. She's very good. I actually didn't want to lay down because uh, I have a hair issue. So we turned the chair around, so all I did was sit and watch, well, I almost fell asleep a couple of times, but I just sat and watched boats go by and watched the beauty outside. It was very, very nice. It's definitely worth booking an appointment early to make sure you can get in. This is the main dining room. It's where breakfast, lunch, and dinner is served here on the ship. And it's very pretty. It's wood throughout. There's even wooden ceilings and beautiful columns that just make, make for a really lovely experience because you feel like you're on an older ship and it, I don't know, just gives kind of a, a really, beautiful attachment to the scenery which feels like it's been here forever so there's really lovely tables right by the windows and that's where I had tried to sit as much as possible the bar is also here on the same level and they have a little bit of everything and quite a nice wine list which I was happy to see although I just stuck to glasses so um, I think as a group or a couple you'd be able to take advantage of the wine list much better than I have and there are a couple of loungy spots with sofas and I did chill out there and work for about two hours yesterday and it was really cozy. The music that they play is kind of a mix of either, um, it feels like a, 
like almost spa-ish or maybe traditional ceremonial Vietnamese songs and kind of chilled out uh, like pop jazz songs that are quite interesting. But all in all, the ambiance is beautiful. The space itself is absolutely beautiful. When the um, natural light starts to disappear and the lanterns are aglow, it is absolutely beautiful out here, so romantic. So here are my recommendations for the best experience on Heritage Line. I would definitely take the balcony cabin. The rooms without a balcony are actually larger inside, but you don't have this space, which is amazing. So definitely take a balcony cabin. I am in 209, and I was really close to the staff quarters. I would maybe stay halfway down, ask and see, and I honestly don't know what, if it makes a difference what side you're on. Everything's gorgeous, and you can look out your window anytime, and it's it's perfect. For me, too, I think the glasses of what you're thinking of ordering um, just house wine, the glasses are nice and big, so I I felt like the value for money with the glasses was quite good. Definitely book into the spa. I really enjoyed that and kind of wish I had done it earlier so I could have done one session each day. Um, because you know, if you've been walking around Hanoi or are just traveling a lot, you, you, you get road weary. So that was a beautiful, really perfect spa experience.